Well, hairspray is a close friend to women worldwide. And, and men. For those men who have hair. But did you know oh. that as well as keeping our hair in place, it can also be used to help remove lipstick stains and even ink? I didn't know that. That's why you need to watch this show more regularly, Kylie. In fact, there are a number of household items that have secret stain removal properties. See, that's why I don't use hairspray anymore, Kylie. <laughs> that's why I just always have it with me. And there are other things that can help prolong the life of our favourite pieces. The Morning Show's style squad regular Donny Galella joins us live with all the tips hey, and all Johnny. the tricks. Hey, buddy. Good morning, um, guys. Hairspray are yes. getting ink stains out of clothes. Hairspray is amazing. So you can get rid of your ink stains, but how? also how. So what you've got to do is obviously get your hairspray, really get into that stain. Okay. I've only got one hand here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. There you go. For you. Thank yeah. you. And then obviously just work work into that ink stain just blot it don't rub it because then obviously the ink stain will rub mm -hmm. and with your lippy okay same okay, sort of thing so, yeah so you've got your this stain is I thought you said we were using well, you could, you could use hairspray oh, no, sorry, dishwashing, What's liquid. That? dishwashing liquid you could do both you could do both dishwashing liquid work into the stain yeah it takes a while and then you throw it into the wash okay oh so, so we're not going to see any uh removal here on the show you won't now. see a lot of removal <laughs> right now because my yes. yeah, you need a lot of elbow grease but just showing right. so you can so you hair. rub you rub dishwashing liquid into, into the lipstick thing. stain yep. then you or you hairspray if, if you spray it with hairspray after that look okay. or a combination of both hey let's move on to our underarm stain oh okay so okay. with shirts you can get that build up under there you know from mm. your deodorants and whatnot so you get a little bit crusty so equal parts oh, oh yeah a little bit crusty mm. lies equal parts lemons a little bit of warm water i like to throw some rock salt too it sounds like a bit of a salad dressing but it's not mm. right. okay and what do we make do that the paste uh oh. mix it with the water and the salt so lemon juice lemon juice yeah mm -hmm. make a little paste really get into the underarm of the shirt rub it in and then throw your shirt into the wash and then you get beautiful zesty smelling armpits as well it's fabulous okay, so lemon juice water and, and salt. a little bit of salt yeah okay. and then throw that into the wash uh donnie what about sneakers then because what happens is you buy these fancy pants and your sneakers then you step out in the rain and uh you, then what happens so white sneakers are everywhere at the moment yeah, so you notice sure but they're, they're only chic when they're clean okay so yeah. i clean mine here I use. Are they yours? That they are mine. Okay. They can see They're the difference. Dirty, well, can, well, I just got, you haven't been doing using <laughs> your own <laughs> Well, I have now. <laughs> uh, so I use toothpaste and my old brush just to give it a scrub right around the shoe. And then with the laces, took the laces off. A bit of bicarb soda. Bicarb soda is heaven. You can use it for so much stuff. Mm. Bicarb, a little bit of warm water. Let my laces soak. And look at that. Like, look at the difference. Amazing toothpaste. Who would have thought? Okay. So good. Like Martha okay. Stewart. What? I am Martha Stewart. I'm the Aussie Martha, Martha Stewart. Let's move on to extra winter time. We're all wearing jumpers. Yes. Like you get a bit fuzzy. Oh, that looks really fuzzy. Okay, that so one. Yeah. I'm going to make this brand new. This is Sarah Stinson's jumper. I promise I'm going to make this new the for boss, her. Yeah. So if you've got a great jumper, especially if it's cashmere or wool, don't throw it away. Don't shave what? the boss's no, jumper. No. So get a razor, and then we've, we've got your peels. Just shave off all the peels. So it takes a little while, it's got to be really delicate, especially if you can see them all coming off. But be really careful, obviously if it's a cashmere, because it's a very fine, delicate fibre. Donnie, seems to be taking a while, you need some take, time take, to do it. Right? Dedicate some time to this one, yeah, lads. Spend an afternoon, a have a little vino while you do it. No, you know. perhaps not, because they will end up with a hole in it. If you yeah. do the but, but that actually works. You can see it all coming off, cool. so by the end of the day... Just, just on behalf of the boss, can you keep going, because now there's a one square inch... <laughs> we are no right flight. out of time, we're going to go, Donnie, but I can just see vinegar and, and colours. I'll pop there. them up on the side to get your colours up, yep. just pop some vinegar. Okay. Yep. Okay, but we'll pop that on the website. On the website, because there's a great one about your denim, so denim, check out denim, the website. Denim, okay. Good on you, Johnny, website. thank you.